What's going on guys? Welcome back for another episode with Mario's Paint Class. In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you how to get rid of dry spots, especially when you're spraying over big panels like a hood. Now, this is the car from the previous episode on how to prep. So this video, I want to teach you how to get rid of that dry spots. So if that's something you're interested in, this video is definitely for you. Now, as you can see, I already laid down my base here, but I have one more coat to lay on here before we start clearing. So you're going to watch me lay down my final coat of clear of paint and then we're going to get to the clear. Beautiful, nice and smooth. All in the prep work guys, all in the prep work. Alright guys, to get this party started, I am using the Montana, the Montana clear coat and the hardener that I'm going to choose is slow. Why I'm choosing the slow, it is a very hot day. See that? It's a very hot day today. So a slow hardener will give me that nice and smooth flow that I want. If I use fast or even say extra fast, I'm not gonna get a good job today. And that's a promise. So I'm gonna go ahead and mix up my clear coat. This clear coat is a two to one mix ratio. So you look for the two to one mix ratio in your cup. And then because I'm, I'm gonna be mixing a lot of clear cause I have a lot of panels. So I wish I had a bigger cup Right there at the six. Then I got my hardener. I'm just gonna pour this until it's completely full. Just like that. Now this is something that you wanna make sure you do right every time because this can determine how your clear flows out. If you're using a slow hardener and then your clear is drying too fast, then something is definitely wrong. Or it's not drying at all, then something is definitely wrong. Now on to the next thing. What I'm using here today is the DV1 clear coat gun. This, this is the C2 cap, because this one um, atomizes the paint better than the, C, the C1. So if you have this gun, you definitely want to try and get the C2 cap but that cap you can only get it from Europe. All right guys, let's go ahead and lay down all the tips that you'll need to get a beautiful clear coat finish and no dry spots. There's a bunch of things that goes into this. So first you wanna make sure that your panels are prepped properly. And then when it comes on to mixing your clear coat, you wanna make sure that you have the correct mix ratio and follow the data because that plays a very important role how to set up your gun 
everything that you need to know is on the data sheet and everything is different because there are different materials the other thing is choosing the right tip for your clear coat you know as you all may know that one you have different sizes you have 1.2 1.3 and 1.4 there is a bunch of them but 1.2 1.3 1.4 is usually the ones used for paint and clear coat and it depends on the type of finish you're trying to get if you're trying to get a finish that looks completely flat then i would go with a 1.2 if I want it to look factory, I'll go with the 1.3. The 1.4 is good too, but it, the droplets from the 1.4 is a lot bigger. And you can have a lot more peels using the 1.4. So I'll just go ahead and stick with the one in the middle, which is the 1.3. On the hood, guys, you know, on the rest of the panel, a 75% overlap is necessary but when you reach the hood slightly slow down your speed keep the clear flowing one thing you don't want to do is stop whatever you do when you're clearing do not stop halfway or in the middle of the panel because there you can start to get some sags and possibly a run so on the hood i usually keep my overlap about 90 percent as much as I can overlap this, I'll do it because it's a bigger panel and the clear coat is going to take more it's going to take more material to get it to completely lay out gloss, you know. So, I go with the 90% overlap and the hood, keep it consistent and you will be just fine. Now, let's talk strategy. Here I'm clearing the hood. Now I'm going into the other side. What I want to do first here, I want to get this fender completely cleared. I don't want to stop right there on top of the hood and then leave the fender and go to the back door. I want to finish the fender first and then overlap into the door, which means when I come back down with my clear from the back door, I'm not going anywhere near the hood again because the overspray is going to go on the hood and leaves that dry spot so now you see i can start here and stop in the middle of the front door i don't have to go all the way back down there because if i do that i'm left with dry spots now you understand what the job takes and you understand how important you're overlapping at no point do i want to come back down here unless i'm on my second coat so this is the first coat i'll apply another coat just the same my first coat is not completely wet i'm not concerned with getting it wet on my first coat on the second coat however i will slow down my speed and get it completely glossed out where i don't notice any dry spots or peels it's very important to make sure that you can see what you're doing watch the clear as it flows out if you have to make some adjustments here and there make your adjustments
look at me like that I swear that something in me is so vibrant Now I'm just pointing out the fact I want you to tell me how you feel, eh? You keep looking at me, looking at you Feeling so deep, gonna catch you an awful load Looking at me, looking at you, babe I've been looking at you all day Looking so good, looking at me Making me feel like I do it all for you Looking so good, looking at you, babe Looking so good, looking at you, babe. 